One entrepreneur in the Bronx has wasted no time building his business and giving back to a worthy cause. TAL watches as Swiss-made luxury timepieces. They not only make a fashion statement, but they also serve as a kind of gift to the American Diabetes Association. Here with us to explain all this is the CEO and founder of TAL watches, Ligel Lambert. Did I say it right? That is correct. All right, so nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. And I gotta ask you, watches, why watches? Well, the, the origin story of watches essentially um, started off really in contemplation, um, thinking about uh, the time that I actually started the business in 2020, thinking about my mother, my late mother, um, and, and, and also conversations about family. Um, <laughs> thinking about possibilities, uh, what is possible, um, and starting a business. Um, and so I decided to kind of move forward, mm -hmm. um, you know, just took the leap and, um, you know, started then. Um, I reached out to a variety of different companies and that sort of thing to see how these things were be able to be manufactured and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, I got lucky because of the time frame that was happening around that time. Well, I don't think it was luck. I think it was a lot of hard work um, because I, for me, if I think about it, that's a daunting proposition to put together a watch company. So you must have had a love for watches to begin with. Oh, absolutely. Uh, um, that um, love for watches, uh, design, um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but also just thinking about, you know, how can this be possible? Mm -hmm. um, and, um, uh, you know, during the time, uh, during that time, I, I felt it was a, a great opportunity to kind of, you know, start something, something different, something new, something that I was really passionate about. And, uh, you know, that came to be. And what makes TAL watches so special? When we talk about, uh, and I, I'm a little ignorant when it comes to watches. I, I kind of let my husband decide on the watches because it's not my thing. What defines a Swiss watch? Well, you know, um, Swiss, I, I decided to go with uh, a company uh, in Solothurn, in Switzerland, and also uh, several other companies, but primarily the, the Swiss brands, uh, the Swiss watches that I currently uh, have, um, you know, we, we work through a multitude of different ways to try to get, um, you know, the look and feel of what I, what mm -hmm. I uh, imagined for the kind of watches that I have. Um, and there are many things that make a Swiss watch um, so classic and so wonderful. Um, first and foremost, um, you know, the, the, the quality of the making of the watches. Currently, the watches that I have are quartz, uh, essentially are battery operated. But what I'm trying to do um, with, uh, with the brand is I want to expand to more um, uh, self-winding and mechanical watches mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. They are absolutely gorgeous timepieces. Well, you know, the, the ones that I actually created, for example, my, um, my Cosmos Red Eye, mm -hmm. um, you know, was uh, essentially uh, produced uh, and, and thought about simply because of, of, the, of the face of, of the watch that I really love was the, the red eye component at mm -hmm. the bottom. Um, and, and so just thinking about those design uh, uh, components, um, the different aspects of how I'm trying to um, uh, just get my uh, customers to, to really enjoy the, the pieces. And know uh, that they're getting something of quality. Uh, always of quality. But one of the things with this is that is the design element, the design aspect. I'm really uh, interested in those who uh, love music mm -hmm. and also the bass. And there's something else I really want to get to. The fact that I know you were diagnosed with diabetes and one of the wonderful things you've done is to make sure that you are giving back to the American Diabetes Association. Is it every watch that's sold? Every watch that's sold, um, $5 goes directly to the American Diabetes Association. At 39, I was diagnosed with uh, type 2 diabetes, and I, you know, I believe that you know, one should definitely do uh, his or her part to, to kind of you know, give back um, and you know, fight the cause. Mm -hmm. um, um, and uh, it was shocking, actually, when I, when I was diagnosed. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that uh, I would I would be a diabetic. I'm 41 now. You know, I've been living with it for you're uh, young. A years. Well, you're a baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to to be able to continue on. But you know, I really watch my diet and that sort of thing from that time. Mm -hmm. um, just uh, and I have to ask you, 
What do you think your mother would say? The fact that not only you've made this dream come through with the watch company itself, but the fact that you are giving a, a substantial portion of, of what you make to help other people. I, I hope she would be proud of me. Um, you know, just uh, always, uh, just thinking about her actually places me in a different space, but uh, I, I would hope that she would be proud of me. I, I think I would be willing to take that bet that she would be extremely proud of you. Thank you. We're going to send folks to TALSwissWatch.com. And for folks watching this interview today, there is a special Here and Now discount, right? Here and Now 2023. Here and Now 2023 is a 25% discount um, that uh, those who uh, love watches and actually watch the show um, can actually um, benefit from that. Um, please share it with everyone you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ligel Lambert, I hope I said that right. You, you and your Haitian origins. <laughs> thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. I got a feeling this won't be the last time we hear from you. Well, thank you so very much for having me. Thank you. My pleasure. We'll be right back.